Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to format a CSV file so you can import it into the tariffs. Um, so first of all, as you guys can see here, my tariffs are completely empty. My prefixes as well are completely empty. Um, so I have a, a demo file here. If you open it with any text editor, mine is Sublime Text, you guys can see that we have some data here and it's formatted like this. Um, this is the price that the purchasing price. Um, so let me explain you guys how Magnus Billing handles this data. If there is only one price in here, Magnus Billing here is going to duplicate this as for the selling price as well and then you can edit it. You can also uh, add in the billing blocks so we're gonna edit this file so we can have everything in and also do not not lose um, the formatation so Magnus billing does not give us any errors uh, we're gonna do that using Excel so let's open this file uh, please do not mind Portuguese software um, so okay first of all let's just expand this these columns here now if you guys simply were to edit normally and then save excel would do something really bad which would be these numbers here it's not good they're, they're not going to be saved as actual numbers they're going to have symbols like pluses and etc so for this to not happen you need to go to the uh, to the column here and right click it and go to format and select custom or personalize whatever and select zero and then press ok so this is gonna make sure that uh, these numbers stay actual numbers in the file as for the second column you can leave as is or add it as you want uh, the third one we we're gonna just simply duplicate it to the next one uh, you're not, you don't need to have any other data than these three columns here and Magnus Billing is going to import it normally. Um, other, other stuff that you can add is the billing block. So for example, if you want to have um, these, these shoots complete, you can simply um, fill them with some data. So for example, I filled this with sixes, then threes. Let's do that. Let's do this one with seven. And this one with four. So you're gonna notice that this probably um, fills all the way down there and we don't want that. You could simply clean it, clean it off, or you can do that with um, any text editor. So, in order to use Sublime Text a little, we're gonna simply save like this and see how the file renders. So let's go over here to our desktop um, and save as video CSV. Let's close this. So now we have this another file here and so let's open it with sublime text as you guys can see we're using uh, semicolons here and also everything is saved perfectly but we still have one wish issue we have those empty fills there that when we pressed fill they got generated so what we're gonna do is try to get um get closer to where um, these are which should be around here and try to find the end of the, the data that's actually relevant which is around here okay so we're simply gonna hold shift here so we're holding shift you guys can see that now we're selecting stuff and this way you can simply go all the way down to the end of the file like this 
and select it all and then now we can simply press backspace and now our file should be fixed see we can simply save the vid the, the file and now we have all our data correctly formatted with the extra rows that we added for uh, the tutorial say they're optional you could simply leave it all the rows like that and it would import successfully but we're gonna import it import it like this so let's import the video CSV into Magnus billing here so import CSV file now you need to select a plan and a trunk to add those uh, those that, that data to so let's select semicolon because that's what we're using and select the file which is video CSV when important it should not take long uh, and also this max file size is depending on php.ini um, I do not recommend uh, uploading files bigger than 16 megabytes but it's up to you it's probably going to crash the system if the file is too big so I'd say sp split the files in multiple small ones and that should be the ideal solution as you guys can see it, it has been imported imported successfully all the data that we added here buy price sell price Everything's working perfectly here. So thank you guys for watching and I see you guys next time.